time for an interesting matchup as the man scout Jake Manning will be taking on Gamble. Gamble who recently coming off a victory over Crouch in a V-rated match, a big victory for him. The man scout relatively new here to VCW but already it seems as if he's made an impact on this crowd and I wouldn't exactly call it a positive one. Well that's because these people are sycophants, Jerry. Sycophants? That's right. You want to elaborate on that? Well they're jerks and they are other nefarious words that I can't say on television. These people don't respect someone who is a good, clean life individual like Jake Manning. Well, the man scout claims to the man scout claims to go by the rules, JD, but he's broken rules every time he's wrestled here in VCW. Says who? The, the VCW rule book. The VCW rule book should have been written on toilet paper for what it's worth. Well, that's not a fair statement. I think it's a totally he, fair statement. He's got he's got his own rule book, and that's the rule book he goes by. Everything he's done has been by the book. He let me read it. He let me read that rule book, and everything was okay. What was that strut for? It was part of the rule book. That has nothing to do with wrestling. You always have to strut before the match, Jerry. No, you don't. Grand, you don't have to grandstand. You totally have to strut before the match. Didn't you ever see that before? Only from people who have ego problems and scooping a slam by the well, man scout. You can say the man scout has ego problems, but so far he's dominated Gamble. I wouldn't say he's dominated him. I mean. The man scout, though, with some impressive body slams there and steps out of the ring there. And Gamble, you know, didn't go after him, didn't follow up because that's in the rules. You're not supposed to attack someone when they're in the ropes. That's also in the proper rule book there that the man scout has. Both men locking up the man scout with a side headlock on Gamble. Gamble shoves off the man scout. Man scout jumping over. Hip toss by Gamble. Nicely executed. Scoops him up. Nice body slam by Gamble. Gamble following up, Irish whip. Man Scout holds on, and oh, the Man Scout getting out of dodge. And this is this is perfectly legal. It's perfectly okay. He's got to break the momentum of Gamble, and it's perfectly okay. There's nothing wrong with this. What do you mean there's nothing wrong with this? There's nothing wrong with it. Even even in your horrible little rule book, you awful man. There's nothing against stepping outside of the ring to break someone's momentum. There's nothing against it at all. It's a cowardly move. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's defensive wrestling. Well, it's not defensive. He, look, he's he's playing mind games is what he's doing. He, does he have a he has a canteen in his hand? Well, he's allowed is to. Is he taking a water break? Yes. You're allowed to take a water break. It's in the rule book. It is not in the it's in the it's in the rule book that the man scout has. And I, per, I like I said, I perused it before tonight. Now the man scout wants to shake hands. Well, maybe he's turned over a new leaf. Wait a minute! He wasn't taking a water break. He just spit that water in the eyes of Gamble. Well, that's because the Ga that's because Gamble wouldn't accept the handshake. This jerk. Well, that was a mistake. Gamble firing away on the man scout. Irish whip, back elbow by Gamble knocks the man scout down to the canvas. And the man scout needs to take another timeout. It looks like. Oh, chop in the corner by Gamble. The man scout crashing hard into the corner. Oh, Gamble goes for a splash. Missed though and hit the turn top turnbuckle hard. Oh, the man scout follows up with an elbow drop. Cover. Two. No, oh, Gamble kicks out. And there's the man scout going right back to work on Gamble. Perfectly legal offense according to the rule book. It's not legal offense, it's for close fist punches. And Bobby Cruz has to get in there and break that up. That's not illegal at all. 
It is illegal. Once Open again, I perused the rule book before the, before the start of today's show. Yeah, I'm sure you did. You have all the special chapters that you stuck in there. I didn't stick any of them in there. They were already in there. You wrote them on notebook paper and folded them and stuck them in between the pages. I didn't. Why would I do Gamble such a thing? Gamble is firing up here. Oh, no. Man scout kicked to the midsection. Well, you can't exactly hit Gamble in the head because he doesn't have a brain there to hurt. Close line by Gamble. Back elbow knocks the man scout down again. What's the phrase? Million dollar body, ten cent brain. Nice athletic move by Gamble. Gets by in the man scout. Drop kick sends him face first into the top turnbuckle. Here comes Gamble again, going for the splash. He followed up that time. Not a lot of impact on that splash, but enough to put. Jake Hanning down to the ground. The man scout might be unconscious, Gam JD. Gamble needs to press the advantage, but once again, million dollar body, 10 cent brain. Gamble's going up to the top rope. And he almost fell off, too. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Bobby Cruz. The man scout just shoved Bobby Cruz into the ropes. No, Bobby Cruz just has poor footing. His he equilibrium is the off. The man scout kicked him into the ropes. I we saw it. I didn't see that. Gamble landing, landing uncomfortably on that top turnbuckle. And it looks like the man scout's gonna be prepared here. Butterfly Superplex looks like it's coming up. He's hooking him up. Oh, drives Gamble. The whole ring shook. This Cover is two. Over. The man scout wins the matchup. Perfectly legitimate win there for the man scout.